please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning, cats. Welcome to today's show. Today we will get to learn more about some of our fine arts seniors' plans after high school. We'll also see exactly how students are adjusting distance learning. I'm your host, Peter Su. And I'm Jake Sullivan. Today is Friday, April 16th, and you're watching West Range TV. Cats, don't forget summer trial crew applications are now being accepted. They'll be due next Friday. From the opening of Disneyland to vaccines, there has been a lot in the news lately. Let's take it to Caitlin, who's live in the studio, for a weekly update. Thanks, Peter. In trending news, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin will not testify in his murder trial as his defense rested his case on Thursday without testimony from the, the defendant. Closing arguments concerning Chauvin's murder trial will begin Monday. The Biden administration announced it is imposing sanctions on Russian individuals and entities in response to election interference and hacks. The United States is not looking to kick off a cycle of escalation in conflict with Russia, quoted President Biden on Thursday. Pfizer CEO Albert Borla says people will likely need to get a COVID-19 vaccine booster dose within 12 months after they've been fully vaccinated, CNBC reported Thursday. The CDC and Prevention Advisory Panel decided during an emergency meeting on Wednesday that the members need more data before voting on whether to resume use of Johnson & Johnson's one-dose COVID-19 vaccine. In lighter news, Disneyland has now reopened. As a result, tickets are now harder to get than a 90 or higher on Mr. O'Brien's essays. Staples Center opens to let in a small amount of Lakers fans to support their team for the first time in over a year. And lastly, here's a picture of a cute puppy. That's all for me, Cats. Now back to your hosts. Thanks, Caitlin, for the weekly update. We all know the pandemic has changed the routines of our lives as students. Yes, it has, Peter. And as we transition back into normalcy, our two crewmates vlog their daily schedules as students in hybrid learning. Hi, I'm Avery Van Hart. And I'm Maddie Haynes. And this is a day in our lives. Good morning. I'm off to go host the West Ranch TV show at our school as we just started returning back to cohorts. I'm gonna go there, host, and then drive back for the rest of my classes, which I'm gonna do online. Since I chose to stay online for the rest of the year, I can wake up about 30 minutes before my classes and make breakfast, which is super nice. For school, all I have to do is log into my Zoom meetings and I get to work at my desk, which is really nice. We're in the studio, I just finished hosting our show, and this is where we host, and we have to have the host chairs six feet apart and wear masks. And now I'm gonna go back home and do my the rest of my classes online. So our school's on a block schedule, which means I only have three class periods a day, and now I'm just gonna spend that time doing homework so I have my night free until I have to go to ballet. Okay, I just finished my classes for the day and I'm gonna be heading to my high school soccer practice. It's on the turf at West Ridge. So the same coronavirus like guidelines apply there. Okay, so now we're on the turf. We got our masks on. See, everybody's socially distant. Now we're gonna practice and then I'm gonna leave and go to my club practice after. I'm on my way to my club soccer practice. Same rules apply for this practice that we're at high school. However, we have been allowed and cleared to play tournaments and games, which has been super great to get out there and play again. So right now I'm waiting in the parking lot for ballet to start. Because of COVID, we can't wait in the lobby anymore. We also have to have constant air circulation in the studio. And of course we have to wear masks and social distance as much as we can. Now I'm back home and I'm just gonna finish up some homework, but that concludes a typical day of my life during quarantine. All right, so now I'm home after dance. I'm gonna go ahead and finish any homework I couldn't do earlier. 
and maybe watch some Netflix. But that's what a typical day in my life looks like. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Thank you, Avery and Maddie. Wildcats, if you're struggling with your wellness, remember you can always reach out to the wellness's peer listeners through the form on the Daily Bulletin. And to end this week's fine arts celebration, let's explore how our students hope to cater their passion. Hi, uh, my name's Aviva Bringegaard Bialik. I am a senior and I do theater here at West Ranch. Um, and theater is actually something that I'm going to pursue in my life as a career. Um, I plan on next year going to college and majoring in acting and hopefully becoming an actor. My name is River Allen and I am the co-editor-in-chief of the West Ranch Literary Magazine Suburbia. I'm also a writer and in college I plan to major in English literature with a creative writing concentration. Hi, I'm Camille Haviliana. I am in choir at West Ranch right now, and with that, I'm hoping to get into something with music producing and make my own music in the future. Hello, my name is Emmy Bates. I'm a theater senior and improv captain. I'm super excited to continue acting. While I'm not doing it as a major, I'm excited to do local productions and hopefully some productions in school. I'm Brian Knowles, and I'm in West Ranch Marching Band, Marching Percussion, and Photography. I'm going into the Marines as a combat photographer, so this pretty much means that I'm going to be traveling the world with the Marines, taking photos and documenting for the benefit of the Corps. Hi, my name's Lily. Uh, I am a part of choir at West Ranch, and I hope to become a choir teacher in the future. Hi, I'm Matthew. I am an AP Art and Design, and I primarily make art around music and albums, so I'm really hoping I can bring my art in a direction to where I can pursue art and music, such as album covers or other graphic design work. Thanks, Zoe. We wish our students the best of luck. Well, that's all for today's show. I'm Jake Sullivan. And I'm Peter Suh. Have an amazing weekend, Cats.